Notice real carefully how I put this in the flame. Although a lot of people would say the hottest part of the flame is the tip, that's generally correct. We're not looking for the hottest part of the flame here. We're looking for the most heat. And there's a key difference between heat and temperature. And we're looking to heat our tip. We're not looking to get to the hottest temperature in one pinpoint location. When I light this, I want to bury the cap in the flame. And what we're going to see is that very little yellow flame. And that's really what our objective is here, is the less yellow we see, the less black and the less soot we're going to get on our cap when things come up to temperature. And now we got our click, we're up to temperature, used a Bic lighter, going to give this a few seconds to cool down. And I'm going to show something that's, I think, real important, is that even with a Bic lighter, give me a click, there we go, I can take my cap off and notice I can rub my finger on here and I don't have a bunch of soot on the cap or on my finger. Okay, this is the one I just heated with that Bic lighter. Can't say it's perfectly clean, but it's not black. If we hold it at the tip of the flame, and since we're all about learning here, I'm going to make this cap black so everyone can see. Holding it at the tip of the flame, you can already see the soot, you can see the cap turning black, it hasn't even clicked yet. If you just kind of zoom in here, Ben, you, you can see that this cap is really gross, really black, and if I touch it with my finger, I've got soot on it just from wiping on one spot. Okay, same lighter, same cap, one's clean, one's dirty. If you're gonna use a soft flame, like a lighter like this, bury it in the flame, make as little yellow flame appear as possible. It's actually going to heat your cap significantly faster when you bury it in the flame because we end up with the flame wrapping around roughly 270 degrees of the cap, uniformly heating the majority of the cap and then conducting that heat in through the cap and heating the tip in the extraction chamber much more uniformly than if we're just trying to use the very tip of the flame and having the wind blow it all over the place. That's no fun. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos here and here, and please subscribe. We appreciate your support and look forward to next time.